Hi, welcome. Is it possible that someone can hack your WhatsApp account by just knowing your telephone number? Yes, assuming you want to hack someone's WhatsApp account, but you only know the person's telephone number. Is it possible you can hack the person's WhatsApp account? You know, we have a lot of videos online today showing you how they can hack WhatsApp accounts with just the telephone number. Is it true? How true is it? No, today I'm going to talk about all the approach that someone can use to hack your WhatsApp account and also if it's really possible that you can hack someone's WhatsApp account by just knowing their telephone number. This is DK Cyber, the youngest cybercrime fighter in JHMB Young. You know, this is what we do. We try to bring to you the very possible good educative content online today. So do what to follow me and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Anytime you drop good content like this, you'll be the first person to see it. Let's begin. Now, the first approach is what we call spy app. You know, we have a lot of spy apps online today that promise you that they can hack someone's WhatsApp account by just their telephone number. But the truth is, all the spy apps, take it from me, you need one-time access. What is one-time access? Now, you need to have the victim's phone. So if you're talking about spy app, they will tell you that you download that spy app onto the victim's phone, then you enable some features, so you block some features, you know, because see, the phone, Google, Android, or iOS, they have all got security mechanism protecting you. So before those spy apps will work, they have to block them. You have to manually disable them. You know, you have to just pick them off, take them off. So that is why you need the first time access of the victim's phone. So the spy apps, you need first time access to the victim's phone. Then you install the spy app on the victim's phone. Then you log on to their panel. Then you start remotely accessing the the victim's phone or the WhatsApp account. And most of them and the effective ones are paid. Even if you have first time access of it, you need to pay for their, their service monthly, right? Yeah, so you have to take note of that. Now, so it's not easy. It's not possible that someone can hack your phone just by with your telephone number putting in there with the spy app. Now let's go to the very next option. That is with WhatsApp web. You know, when someone should access your WhatsApp through WhatsApp web, it's not hacking to me. Because WhatsApp web is a feature provided by WhatsApp that you can have second WhatsApp on your web environment, your laptop, your desktop, your Mac, any, any, any desktop environment, you can use it, right? So WhatsApp web, someone hacking you through the WhatsApp web, it's not hacking. It's just a feature the person is using. But even that you need a victim's phone to do the linking, right? Before you can remotely access that WhatsApp account. So that is that. So all these two, you need to have the victims for now. The very next one is also called Mac spoofing. Someone can hack your WhatsApp account through your Mac address. But even that, the person needs first time access to your phone to get your Mac address, right? So that is not also possible that someone can just hack you with the Mac spoofing without not knowing your Mac address. So the person needs your victim phone, right? You need the victim phone. So that is that. Now, aside that, we have what we call social engineering attacks. Of which mostly this is a very common one that these people use to hack our WhatsApp account. Now, this very one is tricking. They trick you because they will send you a code and they will call you that the administrators of a particular platform of which you belong to. So they are working around to protect your account. So they've sent you a code to give it to them to protect your account. The moment you give them that code, they log you out on the WhatsApp platform, then they access your WhatsApp platform. But even that, if you have enabled two step verification, by going to WhatsApp, you go to settings, you go to account, you go to two-step verification, you set it with six-digit PIN, also add your email. If you forget, you can use it to restart it or to reset it. Then that one to also protect you. So today, it's very important to set two-step verification if you are watching me. It's very important. Set two-step verification on WhatsApp so that it can protect your WhatsApp account for you, right? So that is it. So through the social engineering attack, they will just lie to you, then you give them the code. Aside that, they can also send you a link. That link might contain maybe spy app. And even that, you need what you call a click access or someone must also perform an action. So when you click on the link, they will tell you, oh, uh, an app, something, something, something. Based on how they are doing their fishing, you have to go and download uh, something onto their phone. So even that one, you knowing that you won't download it, right? So that one too is also impossible. Now, there's one serious problem here on WhatsApp. You see, WhatsApp provides what you call end-to-end -end encryption. So that means that my communication between you and I is encrypted. But see, there's a challenge here. The communication from our WhatsApp to our clouds are not encrypted. So someone can hack your cloud account, say Google Drive or say uh, iCloud, 
when someone hack your iCloud or your Google Drive, he can get the backup that you have backup onto the cloud. So you have to be very careful. If you think about security today, this is an option for you. If you believe in security, then kindly disable the backup option on WhatsApp, whereby you backup onto your iCloud or the Google Drive. But hey, the caution here is that when you backup, then when your phone you are trying to put your whatsapp onto a, a different phone or something you will not get your backup or you will not get those conversation on whatsapp again so it's an option for you if you believe in security don't back up but if you don't or if you think that you're okay you can also leave it like that so that is it they can only get the backup and that one you don't need you need high level of hacking skills and those videos cannot be found on youtube trust me yes that's the truth they will block them so those going to video, youtube videos to watch to hack someone's whatsapp is literally impossible if you don't have the first time access to the victim's phone and even if you have first time access to the victim's phone you need to pay because most of them are spy apps and the whatsapp web that one is a free version and that one easily the person can see it and disable that offer so these are the ways so the point here is that no one can hack your whatsapp account by just knowing your telephone number unless you use high level of hacking and that one what they do is they will send you a malware a high level of malware onto your phone and that one would automatically or remotely assess your whatsapp account by disabling some features automatically on the phone or the device then they will assess your whatsapp but those malware trust me and believe in me they cannot be found on the surface web yes trust me they cannot be found on the surface web so if you watch youtube videos you watch those things oh no 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 they cannot be found on the surface web unless the dark web or the deep dark web before and even those malware you need to buy it or some hacker can also create that or develop that so that one is not just easy something you need high level of hacking skills right so today you know how you can hack someone's whatsapp account or how someone can also hack your account but if the person is known only your telephone number it's difficult for the person to hack your whatsapp so please be very careful about the videos you go through to watch how to hack someone's whatsapp account without their phone or first time access to their phone it's literally impossible right this is dk cyber the youngest cyber crime fighter and gh champion can you do well to follow me on all my social media handles the cyber zone gh and also subscribe to this youtube channel anytime you drop good content like this you'll be the first person to be part of this